This is Louis Robinet. He recently broke the 5,000 meter park run world record for a nine year old. As a full grown adult who's not that slow myself, <laughs> how embarrassing would it be to be destroyed by a little kid? Give me half hour and I'll tell you. Right, so the plan today is that me and Louis are going to have a bit of a race. When Louis broke the record, he set a time of 17 minutes 40. I've just found out he ran again on Saturday and broke that. What's the record now? 17.31. Which is terrifyingly fast. Now, you've not run a track before, have you? No. For 5,000 metres. I've never run 5,000 metres on a track either. So it's a bit of a new experience for both of us. Before we start, wait there, because you're the expert. I have two different types of shoe that I spent all my pocket money on. Now, should I go with Nike Alpha Fly or... Spikes. You think spikes? I've only worn them once before, and so I'm not sure my legs are gonna hold up. They match yours. I can't go spikes just because we'll look, we'll look matching. When I wore these on my last video, I wore them without socks. And lots of people in the comments said, you're an idiot, you should be wearing socks. Yeah. Louis's dad, socks with spikes? My worry is the red will clash with the yellow. Oh, this is why I don't warm up. It's just wasting energy that I don't have. What's next for warming up? Scoop the chickens. What? Yeah, yeah, Scoop yeah. the chickens? Hang on, I can't get down that low. That. Oh, but it aches. Have you just made this one up this morning? No. Right, we've done some warm-ups that Louis says are real. I don't know. Although, the Scoop the Chicken one, when you said it, it sounded daft, but in Rocky... Go on and get him! Get him, get him, get him! Have you seen Rocky? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Well, in Rocky, he makes him chase the chicken around the... No? I feel like a Kentucky Fried Idiot. Are you ready to race? Yeah. We're going to finish here. It's 12 and a half laps, so we start the other side. Yeah. Is that right? Okay, let's do it. On your mark, get set. Go. To paraphrase Mike Tyson, everybody has a plan until they race a nine-year-old. Mine had been to sit right on his shoulder for the first lap so that by the time he did pull away from me, we'd catch that moment on the scooter camera. Louis had no interest in my artistic direction. He was in front at 200 meters and the scooter didn't catch him up until he was halfway round lap two. Kids, eh? Right, numbers on the first few laps. A quick recap, we're running 5,000 meters, the park run distance. That's 3.1 miles or 12 and a half times around a 400 meter track. I went through lap one in a minute 25. That is three minute 33 per kilometer pace or five minute, 43 second miles. And despite being behind Louis, it's still way too fast for me. It works out at a 17 minute, 45 K time. My personal best is 19 minutes, one second. Meant I had to back off. And so I went through my first kilometer, two and a half laps, 10 laps to go, averaging three minute, 45 per kilometer pace. Still a bit too quick for me. I don't know what Louis's time was or his pace was, nor did he. He doesn't wear a watch, he just runs. And that's what I was relying on. As I said, neither of us have run 5K on a track before. Normally, we do it at our local park runs. Now, you'd think a fast, flat track would be quicker, but having others around you going your speed or faster really pulls you along. Every quick time I've ever set has been done on the shoulder of somebody a little quicker than I'm used to. And for Louis, running solo like this is even more unusual because he's not normally allowed to run on his own. Park run rules are that he needs an adult with him the whole time. Given he came sixth in his last run, he doesn't have many left to choose from. So here he's got no watch and nobody to pace him. My hope is he does exactly what he's doing. Flies off, goes way too quick, and then has to slow up. 
because if he doesn't, there's the embarrassing potential for him to actually lap me before he finishes. Now, if you're thinking, why is that embarrassing? He's clearly an elite athlete given he's got the world record. I know, but I'm a father of four, and many years ago, when my kids were Louis' age, they were regular nine-year-olds, which meant, despite being 100 pounds overweight then, I could still catch them pretty easy. Here, it genuinely felt a bit weird at six foot six, 220 pounds, and I'm not sure I've mentioned it, but the occasional podium. <laughs> To slowly realize Louis, at four foot nine, 75 pounds, was getting further and further away. If you're now thinking, get a grip, how big's your ego? It's bigger than four foot nine. So for my second and third kilometer, I had to slow to three minute 55 per kilometer pace. And then as I began my fourth, it carried on going downhill. First of all, I could no longer see Louis on the track up ahead, so I was acutely aware that he was now somewhere behind me. And then everything started to ache. First, my feet. My spikes are superb, but I do need to get a bit more used to wearing them. The bright pink Alpha Flies might not have been as fast at the start, but they are brilliant at absorbing impact as I get tired. It's why I love wearing them for 10K runs. And then everything else started aching as much as my feet. The Saturday before this, I'd competed in High Rocks, and I was still pretty sore and tired from doing that. You could argue that Louis was breaking his own world record the same Saturday, but I've got things in my fridge that are older than his knees, so I win best excuses. And so Louis starts his final lap with me in his sights. 200 meters to go for him, still 600 meters for me. My legs are falling apart. I want to push, but I also want to get under 20 minutes, and I think I'm on track for that. Pushing now, even if I could, to then not go sub 20 would be brutal. And if you're wondering, could I hear him catching me? No, he's got tiny feet, but I could hear my wife. Go on, Louis, push it! Come on, Louis! Come on, Louis! <laughs> she cheered for the wrong man and then didn't even bother to follow me around for my last lap. So I eventually crossed the line in 19 minutes, 30 seconds, around a minute and a half after Louis, who is watching me there. I don't know if it's my time or the red socks clashing with the yellow shoes. Either way, it doesn't look very impressed. Oh. Oh. One second. Are you happy with your victory? Yeah. Good. I'm glad someone is. Here's the plan. Next month, you turn 10, correct? I turn 50, okay, next month. So what we'll do, I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna train really hard. In six months, we come back, okay? We arm wrestle. He wanted none of that. So, I guess, no surprises. The fastest nine-year-old park runner in the world beat me. No watch, nobody to pace him. First time he's done it on a track, yet apparently no problems whatsoever. But here's what I took from the experience, apart from embarrassment. Forget kids for a moment. If you're 30, 40, 50 or older and ever find yourself thinking, oh, it's too late to start something or you wished you'd done something sooner, that attitude sucks. Because in just nine years, Louis has managed to get himself born, learn to walk, learn to run, then learn to run faster than me. I'm assuming his arm wrestling is poor, but you get the point. As adults, we're terrible assuming nothing will change. Unfit, too fat, not healthy. It's never going to change now. Before you know it, two, three, four, five years have gone past and nothing did change because you never even tried. So do you know what I did the day after I ran with Louis? I bought a guitar. I've always wanted to learn. I'm going to start now. In nine years, I should be pretty good. If you are not where you want to be in any way, then do what kids do. Assume you've got plenty of time and progress a little bit each day. And yes, kids have brains like sponges, easy for them. They also spend the first few years unable to feed themselves, wearing nappies while learning to speak. I'm sure I can get the hang of strumming Wonderwall. Right, a huge thank you to Louis for being a lot of fun and very quick, and also his dad, Paul, and brother, Evan, who helped out on the day. Incidentally, Evan is 14 and runs an 1829 park run, another fast kid. Of course, if you take your cardio as seriously as they do, get over to cardiodolphin.com for your merch. And if you want to support what we're doing here, there's a link in the description to our Patreon and podcast. Oh, and if scooping the chicken is a real warm-up, 
stick that down in the comments because I still don't believe it. <laughs>